But it's about being awakened by the actual experience itself, rather than the story about the experience. It's the experience itself. So, lately I've been talking about this. In Zen we use this question sometimes, when does sugar become sweet? So many of you have been hearing me say this. You understand, at least intellectually, we can argue about sugar. We can talk about the qualities that it has that create its sweetness. But until we take the sugar and put it on our tongue, and actually experience it, we don't really know what sweetness is. But once we put the, sh the sugar on our tongue, we already know it. And nobody can dissuade us from it, because it's our own experience. And I think that's actually what that quote about not dependent on sutras and words and form means. It's not the idea of it. It's the experience itself. Jordan said that in his talk. And Zen brings us back to this moment, this experience, and to awaken right now to this very thing. So actually, right now, words are being used to elicit experience. So if you try to understand my words intellectually, you'll get something. But if you take the words directly in and allow the experience to arise, and then you experience that directly, that is enlightenment. Zen Master Sung San would sometimes say, enlightenment is easy to get, hard to keep. So wake up to this moment. You're already complete. Attach to the moment and try to shape reality to fit what you like, and you've lost it. But in the moment you taste it, you already 